Just get on the first day of practice and getting out there. Uh, I know y'all got a lot of work to do, but this is the start of it. Uh, how do you feel getting back out there today? Feel good being back out there today. Um, it's being on that field. It's fun, you know, being under a new regime, man, and, uh, you know, prove myself again for, for these coaches and this staff and just showing what I can do for the team. And uh, how, uh, how do you see everything coming together with the new coordinator? And uh, I know it's just the beginning, but uh, just, you know, the defense, a lot of people want to see uh, what the defense is going to do this year. Yeah, it's coming together good. You know, it's definitely a process, you know, when you're learning a new defense. And, but uh, we got some excited things up, and we got some great players to go do it and some great coaches to get it done. So uh, we're putting in that work day in and day out to uh, put a good defense on the field. Great. Great. What were some of the differences? I know you got a long way to go, but some of the differences maybe in tempo and tone first day out there with you and Coach Arthur Smith. Uh, you know, we always, you know, try to practice with a fast tempo around here, but, you know, Coach Smith do a good job of um, having teach tempo and fast tempo and uh, getting the most out of the guys and, you know, not driving us all the way into the ground. But when it's go time, it's go time, you know, it's just straight relentless. So um, he do a good job of switching it up. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. You know, this is my first year with Coach Smith, and, you know, but I trust him with the process he got going for us going forward, and uh, I'm going to go all in about it. Yeah, it looked like you were wearing a mask at least for a little bit on the field there. What was the reasoning behind that? Uh, just in the process, you know, process of getting things, what I, what I got to get done, you know, to have a, have a good season and be here for the team. When you say get things done, it's, it's, yeah, 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 it's obvious. Yes, sir. What's the next question? Uh, Marlon coming along? He coming along good. Yep, yeah, yeah, Marlon looked good, man. He finally healthy and – um. And, um, you know, he looked quick out there in one-on-ones and excited. You know, Marlon, you know, hit a fireball, the defensive line, bring that energy. He make it fun for us and, um, you know, love playing with him. I can't wait to see him get that full season under him. You know, he had a, um, some rough runs last year with injuries and um, other things. So, uh, but definitely excited for him, expecting a big year from Marlon. Maria, how has it been with Coach Pease so far? Been awesome. Been awesome. Uh, learning under Coach Pease is a legend, man. Um, and uh, so the multiple looks that we have or, you know, whatever, you know, we may have up this week, this week. So I'm excited, man. This gives a new aspect of playing, you know, defense for me, you know. And um, so it's like a breath of fresh air and excited to learn as much as I can the ins and out of the defense to find out where my opportunities are to have success and uh, as for the team to have success as well. So it's been fun. I know it's really early in camp, but what is your expectation for yourself in this camp and end of this season? Well, you know me. Um, like I said in the spring, you know, I prepare every day. To be, you know, to be the best defender I can, and as the best, try to be the best defender in the league, you know. And I believe in myself and my abilities, and I know that my best football is still ahead of me, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to making it back to the playoffs, compete for a championship on a personal level, make another Pro Bowl, first team All Pro. I'm um, putting my best foot forward, all in, all the time, and uh, I'm gonna let the rest take care of itself. Did you go into a season with like a certain number of sacks that you want to get, or hits on the Do you have a goal that you would like to, to reach? This you know, time? you always have a goal, you know, as a as a premier three technique. I always try to get above 10, you know, I haven't done it yet, but I feel like it's out there for me, you know. Um, getting QB hits pressure has always been top, top, but definitely just finishing on the quarterback this year, man, something that I'm super, super excited about and, uh, you know, just put my best foot forward. I, like I say, um, I feel like it's a real good year for me coming up. Can you tell on the field as an athlete when there's, like, a new guy running things? I mean, is the messaging different? Is the vibe different? I'm just curious what you're saying. You said when it's a new guy running things? Yeah. Um, I mean, you, it, it don't start out here on the field, you know. I mean, we started back in the spring, you know, virtual meetings, you know, you, it's a re relationship based. Anything you do is relationship based. The more time you spend with somebody, you learn them. So obviously, new coach, there's going to be some new vibes, you know, but new is not always bad, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I think it's good to have a breath, breath of fresh air around here, but, uh, you know, Coach Smith, got a, he got a way he want to run a program, and um, we got to buy in. As players, we got to go all in and uh, put our best foot forward. The messaging of the five, what, what is there anything that stood out to you so far? I mean, one, one is, is deeper than the message. It's about putting that product on the field, putting that work in. You know, he made it clear um, that, you know, we're not going to be about, you know, slogans and all this, whatever it may, it may be. Um, the best player going to play, you know, the toughest dude going to play, and uh, ain't no fluff. You know, he's going he gonna to try to get the best out of everybody day in and day out, and uh, I can't do nothing but respect it. I love that about him. Great. Your first day of training camp is always a lot of enthusiasm, you know, first day, just get back out on the field. You've been through a few of these training camps now on the first day. How does this one compare uh, since you were drafted? I know each one's probably unique in their own way. Uh, you said it, man. Each one is unique. Each one is unique. Um, every year, 
you go in with a fresh mindset, you know, renewing of the mind, man. For me, it's like I've tried to go in like it's my first one every time, you know. Not just, you know, it is my seventh one. Blessed to be able to enter a seventh training camp. But I got to put my body and my mind in a space to where, you know, it's new to me. I come out like I don't know nothing, you know. I got to prove myself every day. So it's a, um, it's just a, you know, it's, it's a new year like every year. So um, I'm excited, you know, just putting my best foot forward, controlling what I can and p pushing my body to that uncomfortable place. You were talking before about how you think 10 sacks, double digit sacks is out there for you. What in this defense that you've seen so far tells you that that's an opportunity that can be there? So, please, uh, the yeah, beginning. What, what, what have you seen out of this defense, mm -hmm. this scheme that tells you that that's a reasonable goal? Oh, you know, um, definitely just putting guys in the right position to have success and um, giving, you know, whether it's, you know, different looks or what, you know, people, people are going to be guessing about what we're doing, but um, at the end of the day, we're going to stick to our core values, you know, so. I just feel good about it. I feel good about it, and uh, I know we're going to be able to give, give people hell.